want to have cash. Yeah, it's just the first cash we've had. This is that's kind of unreal, isn't it? It's so weird. The randomizer, you never know what's going to happen. But I mean, NIP, if they're going to take any map against any opponent, it's, you're always very confident that they will have the ability to win on cash, especially since the old days. It's kind of weird calling them old days now, but uh, I think it was around March of this year when we saw a threat take over. He brought a new structure into the team, and one of their, their maps was Cash. That was their best map. They became known as one of the teams that had the most tactical depth on the map. So this is a great start for them, and they will be uh, able to dictate the pace immediately, though, as they'll be on the CT side. So we'll get to see Vega Squadron and what they have in store for the Swedes. Mir has been dropped to Deagle. He's got Kevlar as well. Fit up close. He's running out of bullets. He's going to go down. Mid in control, but it's still a lurker in chopper. They're suggesting A, but it could be a B. Freiberg, though, still in the uh, checkers area. Going to call for a teammate to rotate again, but down he goes. That's going to leave Forrest with the range, but again, the numbers advantage not working out here for NIP. Down Forrest goes. No kills yet for Vega Squadron in this round. Finally, there's one. Hachi getting popped by Exist. Can he and Get Right go back into this? Knives out for Kachanda. Awkward for him. Not expecting Get Right. Can't do much else, though. It exists now behind the smoke. Not much for him to do in this situation. He can give it a go, though. Three headshots, not too much to ask. Exist looking to get himself his first headshot now here, coming in from the upper position at the top of that ramp. And there's three players facing once. That's not going to go too well for you. Quite fun to see the Deagle picked up there by uh, Mir. Kevlar Deagle, that's pretty awesome uh, in the end. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's despite getting a 1-0 start, Vega Squadron, they have a lot to, to prove to us against uh, NIP. Again, NIP is so well versed on this map that uh, they should be able to get a lot out of these rounds where they have only pistols. We're already seeing right now that NIP has picked up a lot of HE grenades. That's four HE grenades and a few smokes and a few pistols. Opting not to get the Kevlar. And again, this is just due to the fact that they have already an idea and understanding of how to play around like this. We're going to start to see some of the nades going over the boost. Doesn't catch anyone on Vega Squadron. And that's unfortunate. Almost all the nades have been used now. Just one smoke left for NIP. NIP leaving themselves with around $900 average. So they've, they've managed their economy. Often we see CT sides uh, lose the pistol round and then go in for the full force. When the buy, when the buy round comes in, they've got very limited grenades and they find it hard to hold the map, etc. NIP maybe paying attention to uh, those situations, leaving more money in the bank. Vega Squadron, it's, you can't really favor them. However, it's best of one. Again, the loser is eliminated. Best of one, always precarious especially against a team you're unfamiliar with. It may take you a while to uh, see what they're up to. And that might be to Vega Squadron's advantage on the T side. Have they left enough, enough time, though, for this push? That's a good question. Things start to get a little bit hairy, but 40 seconds should be good enough. Going to be running into the stack, more or less. CS runs out of bullets. Oh, just a hell of bullets there. And all NIP are falling to the MAC-10s. MAC-10s uh, with four kills between the two players, which is optimal as that gives you quite a nice kill reward kill bonus maximizing the cash yeah so a great start here from vega squadron overall you can see that they were keeping it chill to begin with went for their push on ta site so had the the right grenades to make their lives easier and the mac 10s you know coordinated them in the right way is also and it's all worked out very well so that, that is really nice to see from vega squadron yeah this is a this is a great start for vega squadron and again Best of one, they're starting on the CT, on the T side rather. I feel like that to, is to their advantage because if NIP are unfamiliar, if they start, if NIP start with a bad CT side and it takes them a while to figure out what Vega Squadron are up to in general, then uh, this map could slip away from them or at least it could become very hairy in the eco round for Nip. So hopefully we'll see a, a good round again from Vega Squadron. Thought maybe uh, JR was going to get rid of one grenade to pick up another. If you see uh, teams throwing flashbangs in their spawns it's to pick up a incendiary or a smoke. Well, this this is going to be a brief one. Freiburg left alone. No one uh, too deep in mid, apart from Mir, who may have the high ground. And there is the round. Time for the buy of NIP. And we've had some really clean rounds. Right now, there's only two kills on NIP, and that was in the pistol, I think. I think there was... I think they've survived with, two, uh, with everyone in the last two rounds. So that's amazing, especially against the likes of NIP. So 
Yeah, that is the case. So, yeah, we can see their money is, is reflecting that at the moment. And they can continue to keep on with these Mac 10s and the Scout as well. Uh, due, uh, due to the fact that NIP were fairly conservative with their money, they're going to have a lot of helmets, though. It's only Pit that's not uh, not with a helmet. So the Mac 10s won't be quite as deadly as they otherwise might be had we seen a Force Buy out of NIP. Very good points to note there. I see a fast boost from NIP. See that ridge on the right of the of the of the uh, wall. Never see the HGs come in that way. Not required though for NIP. Mir going down, but Chopper fighting Pit in the in a spray. Often you'll see uh, the T's spray through the smoke on that angle early on to cut off CTs making their way towards the boost position. One man down per side, but Vegas Quadrant ill equipped at the moment. There goes Freiburg stuck in no man's land, trying to find a safe haven, but Chopper will take him away as well. So quite a precarious situation at this point for NIP. Starting to ask questions in mid, and uh, in doing so, abandoning A, which is exactly where Vegas Squadron want to go. Let's see whether or not NIP are going to start shuffling back. It looks like they will, and they're going to start to hear some of the grenades going off, so they know what's going on at the moment. NIP will start to rotate their third player as well. Existing get right, though. They have to do a lot of damage. They're already on the front. We'll get right, try to stop the plant here. It's very risky. Triple face comes in. Spray down from Exist, and despite them lining up, he's unable to get more than one, leaving Forrest in a one versus three. Again, not an impossible situation, but looks like JR is more than capable for the task in that one versus one. And that's a 4-0 start here for Vega Squadron, claiming the first buy versus buy round. Yeah, that now, yes, it's very early days, but Nip's buy has been broken. They have to go on an eco. Vega Squadron are in a very strong um, position to get a lot of rounds immediately off the bat. And that means NIP are going to be on a comeback trail for a very long time. If you're an NIP fan, they said they have many, you have to be worried. Even that 4-0 here, again, it's best of one. There's a very small margin for error. And again, you lose one by round, especially early on the CT side when you've lost the pistol. It's going to be ecoing for days. Fryback charging straight through. They surely saw his helmet there. Maybe not. Chopper, though. Not going to get taken down. Mir there to save him. Yeah, poor, poor Fryback. Really feeling the, or rather the inconvenience that is the aim punch when you're trying to shoot someone. But still a few Deagles here to get some damage in, and they really need to get damage because that's one of the big problems right now. We've got two, three players essentially on $10,000 into the fifth round for Vega Squadron. That is amazing. That means NIP are going to have to win against buys upon buys upon buys. And the T's already don't need as much money as the CTs to buy properly. So that's just a, that's a very bad way to start things off here for the Swedes and uh, exist. It's now the last man standing, and there's only so much that he can do with eight points of health and a deagle. That's pretty good, though. I'll take that. 5-0 for Vega Squadron. NIP in trouble. But now comes the next buy, and they should be able to get Norb. So what is what is the change here for NIP? As you said, Dan, look at, look at the money on Vega Squadron. Only one person had to rebuy. Look at all that cash. NIP going to have to win three rounds, as you said, and... Uh, they're going to have to have people surviving because if they win rounds with, say, two players alive, then Vegas Squadron are going to have better buys repeatedly. So there's colossal pressure on NIP to succeed in a number of ways here. Win rounds, win rounds with lots of people intact, so on and so forth. And that's, and that's before you get to consecutive rounds as well. This is a, a really bad start for NIP on their CT side. Forrest smoked off. The usual uh, scenarios from the T side, taking the checkers area, the, the grenades, the mere grenades force the TTs out of the checkers area unless they want to take high risks. And that makes it very easy for Vegas Squadron to split the B bomb site, which they're going to start to do now all over the place. The numbers, they're crossing to the site as well. Freiburg, though, not spotted yet. That smoke may favor the CTs in the short term, but Freiburg won't have any help. Freiburg's playing this really well at the moment, just holding his position. They have no idea he's there, and he knows that because he saw where the Molotovs landed. They thought the position would be surely clear, but it is not. Freiburg still holding down the bomb sites. Still alive, sitting in there, which is so important because now Kishan is going to wrap around the back and it's going to be get right. Just Freiburg left now, alone against three players. They know where he is, but the bomb is down in no man's land there in front of the ramp on the site. Freiburg standing tall here, looking to get the next kill. There it is. Two more players to find, and they're incredibly low. Freiburg in for this one versus three right now. Very favorable spot for him, and they have to come to him to pick up that bomb. Can they find a way to get a trade? It's very difficult when he's playing this position. Kishanda and Mir, though, trying to see if they can work out what the perfect timing could be or the perfect approach. Freiburg just needs to land that first bullet. 
on both players, and he's good to go. Missing it on Mir. There it is, though. Kashana goes for the push. Now just one more one versus one, and Freiburg will save this round for NIP. It's so incredibly important that he does. Here comes Mir, and Freiburg's going to nail it. Great hold from Freiburg. That is a huge play. Even when there were three players left for Vegas Quarter, and they didn't really know where he was. I think you can see that from Hutchie, just looking everywhere as he makes his way up the ramp. And then uh, the health is just too low. But again, NIP survive with all of one player. The fact that Freiburg saved the AWP may be huge in the coming round. And that could be spawn dependent as well. Of course, he's got a reasonable spawn. So we'll see if he chooses aggression. And indeed, you see the much better buy. Much better buy from Vega Squadron. Two UMPs for NIP. So things will only get harder from this point on. Yeah, Mir going to go for the fast peak there on middle, but the smoke will deny him. Forrest with the AWP straight away is just holding B alone, allowing NIP to play a two-man setup on middle. That said, that setup is being diminished. Freiburg goes down early on, and that's going to be problematic now. Does Pitt go passive now, having lost a teammate, or do they double down here? They've got three players with their attention on middle. They've abandoned the A bomb site once again in this, uh, this somewhat early timing in the round still. And we can see them shuffling on back and perhaps giving mid up more or less completely. Vega Squadron geared up for an A attack, I feel. Again, Mir just spraying through a, a, a tight angle. And we'll come back to that because we've got problems on the A site for NIP. The man advantage retained from Vega Squadron. Get right in Kishanda going down. Oh, Pit, bad positioning from him. No control of the mid area. Allows Mir to get another kill. Even Forrest and Exist. Exist with a lot of work to do. Two more players coming his way. We've got Chopper flanking Forrest as well from the B area. So he's got to be careful. And JR might try to waste time. In fact, he's going to rotate because of Chopper's position. He's basically in CT spawn. What an incredibly tough position to be in for Forrest. We've seen some uh, great like one versus two clutches from him after plants uh, as well recently. But this is definitely going to be quite the ask. He has no idea at all where these two players could be. And he doesn't know where the plant is either. Could be anywhere else. They've had all the time in the world and they know it. And he knows it. Forrest now moving forward. He's got the AWP as well. He has to hit the first shot as soon as uh, he misses. He's basically dead. And there's the first peak. Forrest lands it, though. Headshot straight away onto JR, leaving just Chopper. And now Forrest has discovered the bomb. He doesn't have a smoke to help him out here. It's going to be very tough. Once again, he's in a position where if he misses one shot, he'll lose too much time. He has to connect this shot when there is a peak from Chopper. Does Chopper have good timing on this one? Forrest, will he go for the hold here? Chopper's forced to come out to try to check the bomb. And Forrest, he's left with no choice but to go for the hold. And the round goes to Vega Squadron. This, this is worst case scenario for an IP. 6-1 is worse than 7-0 at the moment. Flipside took out, beat Nippon Cash to knock them out of the major. Uh, yeah, I mean, with the start that Vegas Squadron had, there, there is a, I mean, there's, there's a very, very reasonable chance that this could happen again. Again, 7-0 is worse, or sorry, 6-1 is worse than 7-0 in this situation for NIP because they've been wiped out and they've got no money, which means they have nothing to defend with. So, so it's even easier for Vegas Squadron to rack up more rounds. It's, it's very plausible that we might see a 10-1 start. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and just that, that fact that in the first five or six rounds, Vegas Squadron built up so much money, they, they got to a point where you'd have to beat them and you'd have to force them to go for four buys, like four times in a row or something before they lose money because they, they get the loss bonus and any plant bonuses as well. Just means that they just they have a never ending supply of buys. And if then when a situation like this happens, it just gets to that point again. OK, well, you guys are probably going to not be able to get many kills against us. So more money is built that way as well. So. It is, everything is against NIP right now. They're going to have to have the most ridiculous T side themselves, which is something that they've been known for, but. If, 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 uh, if NIP can get a six, if they can get six rounds, then they have some margin for error on their T side and they can still mount a comeback, but they need to get those six rounds. Yeah, it's a good question to ask about where those rounds are going to come from. But if that AK can be saved or brought into the next round, that would be helpful for NIP. It looks like they're going to try to go for more damage, though. Try to get rid of some of that money here. Exist. Nice headshot from him. But again, the aim punch is a problem. Two kills, though. It's not too bad, considering what their investment was. But it is small consolation in the, in the face of the reality which faces them at the moment. So seven to one, NIP need to save again. And what do they decide to do here? Because as you can see, like they've, they've opted to go for the choice of very little investment, which will give them potentially an, an extra buy you know, in a few rounds you know, later on. 
uh, as opposed to some teams that would probably buy with Kevlar, you know, buy up to like $2,000 or something. MIP have left a fair amount in the bank. Get right in pits, not having a great day. At the moment, just one kill for each person. Vega Squadron. You have, to, you have to wonder though, like, yes, Vega Squadron are starting off really, really well, but is this, are they going to feel pressure as well? Like, they they could, uh, it won't even, if, if they win, they don't qualify, they need one more win, but what a scalp to take. That has to play a part in, uh, uh, psychologically for them. I just I just can't see a world where NIP aren't in a major. I just can't see that world. And that <laughs> that world looks like it might be the, uh, the reality here. Would be the red pill. So Pit right now with that P250, not really a good engagement here, but he might be able to sneak away with a headshot, but no, it's Mir that takes him down without too much issue. And once again, everyone back at uh, 10k dollars. Yeah. Crazy. They're back just stuffing money into the uh, into that money gun, firing bills for days. Right then. NIP, it's one of their one of the few chances they will have going forward, should they fail, to get back oh into God. this half. Eight to seven is still possible, but is it plausible? You can decide just by the sheer money on Vega Squadron if they keep playing the way they're playing. The problem is NIP Amir in the middle area with the with his sprays, as CT's been going towards uh, the boost position, has disabled or maimed the NIP team very early in a number of rounds. On this occasion, he's not going there, but it seems they've been conditioned not to make that play either. They can't afford to make that play anymore. Yeah, the lack of warp of uh, NIP right now, I wonder how the impact of that will be. Right now, the NIP are playing less pres pressure on middle, and they have given up frags. They've gone one for one or straight up just had a deficit of players with those mid aggressions previously. So just sitting passively on the A bomb site. This boost timing could work out very well. Exist now does feel committed, I think, after all these nades coming to stay in the position by the boost. That's an all in play here from Get Right and Exist. And that all in play, uh, all in play is going to fail massively. Both players going down for a single frag. That is not going to be good enough here. Two players left, and they are coming in from Connector and from CT, but they're in a two versus three after plant. Mir with off angles in front of the truck, that'll be good enough, leaving Forrest in one versus three. And uh, at one to eight, they can't afford for him not to go for this. He has to play out of his skin, as he has been in some rounds this weekend. Is this too much to ask, though? We see JR towards quad. They have no idea where Forrest is coming from. He's the first to peak, and he will be the first one to get the kill. Nine to one, NIP, their money's gone once again. The... Okay, so we get a timeout from NIP, and just just think about the, re the re again. Just think about what happens if Vega Squadron win this one, and NIP are eliminated from the qualifier. The thing is, I mean, we we can't look too far forward. But if Vega Squadron are to win this match, you have to feel like they are in gatekeeper mode. We're not going to make it to the major, but we're not going to let you make it to the major. But such is the nature of a best of one. I mean, this is this is really, really bad for NIP. It just even even looking at the remainder of this half again, Vegas Squadron is just building so much cash that there's no break from the pressure. No, for ninjas in pajamas. I mean, at a nine-one deficit, it's already like it's already quite nasty. But I mean, if they can at least scrap together three or four rounds, at least that because it, at the moment it's feeling like that's unlikely. That's that's insane. Yeah, the the six nine. Um, chance is about to pass us, and I feel like they need more rounds than they need enough rounds so that they don't win or they don't win or die, live or die by the pistol. Yeah, yeah, essentially. But uh, that's not going to happen unless these deagles have the rounds of their lives. Five rounds is doable as well, and I have faith in the NIP T side, and I feel like that yeah. would probably be more difficult for Vegas Vegas Squadron. But again, after winning the pistol and uh, killing the first buy. There's a lot of potential for Vegas Squadron, and we've seen that. First kill, though, comes in for NIP. That's an AK picked up. Get right, Scott's Kevlar as well. So perhaps if they can get that AK to him, then uh, something can be done. Looking for the fast rotation to cut off Vegas Squadron before they can make it into B. Yeah, there's a real opportunity here, actually, for NIP. Yeah, Freiburg's in a nice forward position. A one for one here would do a world of good. Well, it doesn't get it, though. Again, aim punch is a problem. For us on the bomb site, though, with the Eagle, the nades start to rain in. Everybody's falling down right now. Once again, NIP unable to find the frags. 
Which is quite sad. They had the bodies in place before the push came in. And they did have some guns, like some deagles, and there was the AK and so on. So there was definitely work that, there, that could have been done, but it's not to be. We see an auto sniper from exist. Now, in this kind of a situation, like usually the auto sniper is is a, p a pickup that people get when it's like, we feel like we basically won this game. We're in, the <laughs> we're in the opposite situation for an IP. So it's very interesting that Exist picks it up. He is the culprit, the main culprit who picks up the, the auto sniper, but I'm very curious how that's going to pa uh, pan out for him. He'll be playing that towards the middle area. Again, we've got Mir going back to his usual tricks, it seems. Freiburg's made his way to the vent early. Three people in mid for NIP to start things off with. Gets right is on A on his own. I see some guns being swapped. Get right's made his way into, into main, actually. So there's some information. Mir looking for some kind of dirty warbang into the vent. I haven't seen this one before. But uh, <laughs> Freiburg sees the dots and he's like, yeah, this isn't good. The problem for Freiburg as well is if it, if he goes too far out of the vent, if there was a T close, the T would see Freiburg's legs, and Freiburg wouldn't see the T. So this is a very awkward spot for him. Yeah, Vega Squadron, they have some slight presence towards B storage now. And around the one-minute mark, we expect to see those delayed mid-takes coming in so that the Ts have the ability to well, have middle, and then that gives them the option to either split A or B. And it also does remove some info from NIP. Because NIP, they see middle right now. And they feel the, the B presence, but they still don't see the mid take. There is another Molotov, there's a Molotov there into the vents, which is very indicative that a team wants to take the B bomb site. Finally, Exist has made his way over towards B with that auto sniper. That's going to be really important. Lovely flashbang. Freiburg taken down, knowing nothing about it at all. Exist on fire as well. This is an execute coming in from Vegas Squadron. That looks pretty good. But here's the auto sniper. Only good for the one kill, though. Forest will trade. He needs to buy time for his team. And he indeed he does. Pit finally with two kills. And they've got a man advantage. Where is Kashanda, though? They have no idea. He's on a low ground. He's got 16 seconds. He has to plant the bomb. Yeah, there can't be any uh, room for uh, mistakes here, getting caught up in the moment. Pit just falling back immediately, allowing the plant to go to Vega Squadron so they can take this two versus one. Kashanda, though, does have a real opportunity here. Goes for a quick reload. Just about has time for that as in comes both of NIP. But no, Kashanda! How does he get that one? One versus two. That is absolutely crippling to the NIP side. Oh, man. They went for the double peak, get right. I think, it, I can only assume there, there must have been some landing inaccuracy there. If you jump when you land, your gun is not instantly accurate. There is inaccuracy when you land, and it takes a, a short amount of time before it to be accurate again. Oh, that's horrible for NIP. This is going to be hard to watch for all their fans around the world. How do you Not come back them. from that? They've got to just put it past them. They uh, mostly have the experience. Sometimes things go wrong. Got to move on. Got to keep your composure. This is quite the test for NIP. We'll see if they can succeed. Mir, though, looking like too much in the middle area. Being quite the thorn in the side for NIP. They've gone for the force buy. They had three UMPs, two remain, along with the two FAMASs. Practically no utility for NIP to work with. They are at the complete mercy of their captors. Vega Squadron as well. With the weapon advantage with the early pickoff, they are well set up to win this round also. Especially now that Smear's starting to get himself into middle. And once again, Vegas Squadron looking to go for an A take. Just waiting now for uh, for uh, Chopper to come back from the B side of the map to rejoin the forces to bulk, uh, rather, sorry, make the push bulkier than it otherwise would be. There is a quick smoke, which is a, an indication for NIP as to what's going on. They have three players on the side. So again, despite the weapon disadvantage, they have the bodies in place. However, now Vegas Squadron start to rotate back to B. This is sneaky stuff here from Vegas Squadron. Forrest moving out of the B bomb site. And he doesn't have much to defend it with anyway. Get right taking gambles as they have to in this situation. But he's being contained by Mir. Ah. Forrest is a pick, but he can't get out of the danger zone. There's Exist, last man standing. He can't get any kills either. NIP just, just not winning the jewels. I mean, they're ill-equipped to do so, but uh, they, they, they know what this... I mean, they've got one round. There are two rounds left in this half. This, this is very hard to watch from the perspective that even if, let's say, Vegas Squadron would be the team to win, it's more just about how NIP are losing this at the moment. It's that like, no one on NIP seems to be able to get the kills in all of these spots. They just don't seem to be nearly as effective of, as we've seen them in recent days. And this is not the day to falter. NIP 
PR the team sitting close to us at the moment. Get right's made his way under the boost. And this time there's no spray from here. There's no smoke either. And that's smart from Vega, Vega Squadron. They're not putting smokes down in the middle area. No wall of smokes or anything like that. It's still early though for that. No smoke towards connector. They're not giving the CTs anywhere to hide when they're on eco. Because the smokes can be to the advantage of an ecoing team. So you have to be careful where you choose to put them. No smokes from NIP either. No money. Ooh, lovely picks coming in. Mir gets his bell rung. Backs off though. Does not want that AK getting into enemy hands. If I'm not mistaken, we only saw one timeout from NIP, right? Is that right? I believe so. I feel like more timeouts would be good or only good in a situation like this just to get people focused. But see a, a kill coming in from NIP, but traded back here by GR eventually. Taking down Exist from that forward position. NIP now going to feel the brunt of the attack from Vega Squadron onto that A bomb site. Just Freiburg left against four players. He's got a Deagle. Deagle in a dream. There's one kill, but easily traded. Vega Squadron have 13 rounds on the first half against NIP, and there's only one round left. It's going to be a long January for NIP if they do not qualify for the major. But Vega Squadron, I mean, credit to them. They're playing really, really well. They, are. they uh, don't have too many gaps in, in what they're putting up against NIP, especially towards the B bomb site. Molotoving everything. The flashbangs are great as well. They have prepared and they are taking NIP by surprise. And indeed, it's part of the issue when you're up against an enemy you're unfamiliar with. Part of the reason we saw some uh, some nice runs from from teams in the past year, year and a half. But once, once their opponent gets used to them, then those runs tend to come to an end. Do get a good start though, this time from NIP. Already a frag from Forest towards B. And that, uh, that also sniper, as we can see, has come out for Exist once again. This time he's towards the A bomb site. Three players on A there for NIP. Freiburg now picks up one in middle. So things starting to go a bit better here for NIP, but the best case scenario is two rounds. That is, <laughs> that, that, that is the best case scenario. And it's still not over here. We've got another frag in middle from here. There is over, just over a minute to play with, so there's a lot of space to work with for the Vega Squadron, uh, well, the, rema the remainder of Vega Squadron in JR and Mir. Mir on 18 kills at the moment. Maybe picking up his 19th, unless Pit can take him down. Pit full health, Mir. Not much going on. Continuation spray. Pit goes straight into it, and uh, he's going to be dinked through the wall to 3 HP. Nobody on NIP with double figures in the kill column. 35 seconds, and Ooh. that, oh no. Oh dear. So he dropped from the server. There's been a lot of that this weekend. I know that uh, E-League are in talk with Valve about it. That is really weird and awkward. At, at least, at least, I mean, they, they you know, it's, it's less than ideal. That round is, of course, going to go to, to NIP because people have been lost. Um, so there we go. It was likely to go to them anyway. But uh, yeah, such is live today, unfortunately. Hopefully there won't be too 13 much. 13 to 2, James. 13 I, to 2. I can't indeed. get over this score. What if, they, what if they lose a pistol, Dan? What if they lose a pistol? They have Glocks now. They have Glocks. It's it's just very difficult to describe I mean, what I'm sure a lot of people are feeling looking at this at the moment. Because again, the implications of this, this is the lifeline for NIP. If they lose this, they're out of the major. Well, they won't go to the major, sorry. Uh, it's time to go on a cruise for January. That is that's a, that is a hugely historic thing. <laughs> like very. Nothing lasts forever, Dan. Just soaking in, soaking in the, uh, the implications a little bit. But uh, again, you know, NIP are a strong T side. If they can get off to a good start, if they can get that pistol around, get their anti-ecos going, get some, you know, remind themselves as to how, you know what it feels like to get some kills. They can absolutely do this. What if they lose the pistol, Dan? But, if, but if, <laughs> what if? Yes, indeed. That's what we're left with during this pause. The what ifs. Forrest has been talking nonstop pretty much this entire time. I know he's going to be the man to keep the energy high. 
when things are low. We always see, we, we normally see uh, Freiburg hyping the team up before the before matches start, but uh, Forrest is definitely giving the battle cry for his team. But what's if they lose the pistol round, Dan? They have a lot of work, a lot on their shoulders. The entire country of Sweden and many people from other countries as well. Freiburg with Molotov and a smoke. Everyone else on Kevlar. Full Kevlar for the CT side. Dan, what if they lose the pistol round? It's a very scary prospect. May is going to be boosted over, and with the door push as well, Vega Squadron are going to be bringing the fight here to NIP before they can get to a bomb site. Garrett with some good damage onto Kishanda, but still, bomb site, it will be taken by the NIP side. Despite losing Get Right on the flank, the bomb can go down, which is not even security at all. I mean, just, they need to win every round. There is just nothing else that matters at this point. And they're losing every single player almost. It's just down to Freiburg and Exist now. Exist on the bomb site. Freiburg towards B storage. Exist has massive work to do. Only gets one. Freiburg has to save this against three players. He has to Molotov for the delay. Is it going to be good? No, it hasn't ended in the right place. No, is there's it a gap. Spread? It's spreading, it's spreading. Oh, it's on fire. Get out of there. It's off HP. Freiburg's dead though. And surely the round's going to be one. There's no kit, but it doesn't matter because there's time. There is time. It's ticking so slow, it could put a baby to sleep, Dan. What if they lose a pistol round? Dan, they've lost a pistol round. It's 14 to 2. Four spies every round from NIP. Every single round. Every single round. That, that, that is so brutal, that kill, because if, if uh, the T doesn't pop the vent, then the headshot probably doesn't kill him. That's that's so such a horrible situation. Even with even with like AWPs and rifles, it's the same. If you if you pop the vent first, you're often at a disadvantage. It's crazy. This is this is just this is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. 14 to 2 NIP, as James said, forced by every single round. At least because they got the bomb down, they have the ability to get something in this round. They can. Ha there are some small advantages, and as the T side, you can leverage those advantages. Um, as I, uh, well, as opposed to the CTs, they have to just wait and see what you're going to do. But you can put the AKs in the right places. You can back it up with, you know, a Tech Nine that can gain ground quite quickly. You can be aided with grenades. You can you can kind of can play to your strengths essentially and try to try to exploit the weaknesses of the CT setup. They need a pick so desperately here. They need a pick. Forrest looking for the taps. If only one could come his way easily, but it is looking labored at this point in Vegas Jordan. They know what they, what's uh, what NIP are trying to do right now, and they're not having any of it. Silence cash. The ringing of the odd bullet here and there but they're not going in the direction that NIP want them to. That's one AK taken down. Only two players remaining have Kevlar. That AK needs to go to pit if they can even recover it. No one's picked it up just yet. NIP in one of the most desperate situations I can think I've ever seen. Absolutely, the, the, just the stakes are so incredibly high. It's, it, uh, it's just very emotional, I'm sure, for many people to watch this. NIP are going to be moving into the A-bomb site, and Freiburg will be able to get the entry onto Hut G, so there's a chance here to get the bomb planted, but Mir is lurking amongst the smoke here. He seems like he knows where Forrest is standing, goes for the kill onto Exist, he gets it. Freiburg finds the trade, but they know where Forrest is. Forrest has to be absolutely enormous here, gets nothing. It's down to Freiburg, he's got a Deagle and 36 points of health. That is such a tall order. Oh, man, it's... What do you say about this one, James? 13 match points for Vega Squadron to eliminate Ninjas in Pajamas from the major qualifier. Will this be the first major where we don't see the Ninjas in Pajamas? The next round may tell us. Force by territory again. The Tech Nines are coming out. I don't think there will be any more AKs. They did get a bomb plant. Forrest hasn't bought just yet, and there it is. Last chance saloon. It could be the last stand for NIP in 2016. Vegas Squadron have the opportunity to crush the hopes and dreams of hundreds and thousands of people. So NIP with the full tech nines, the full utility. It's a very, very long road. And here they go as they try to walk it. They'll lose Forrest immediately. Exist as well, taking critical damage, not for any kills. Very telegraphed the play, and it is looking worse and worse. It's just Exist now against five players for Vega Squadron, and it's all over. Vega Squadron will eliminate NIP. There will be no major in 2017 for NIP, not the first one at the very least. 
16 to 2. One of the most, considering the